I jerk. Hello guys, I am back. So I decided to just make this a brief video on the flat iron that I like to use. I personally love titanium plated flat irons. If you look at it, if you look inside of here, it looks like a mirror. It's very sturdy. This particular flat iron I got from Sally's for probably about $60, $70, dollars the Ion Titanium Platinum Digital Gator Flat Iron and this baby right here is awesome, awesome, awesome. She has been rocking with me for about three years, a little over three years, and I use this flat iron literally on every single client, even on my own here. And I regret to say that I've dropped this baby more than a little bit. So you want to make sure that your flat iron has adjustable heat settings and not just any type of old adjustable heat settings like low, medium, and high. You want to be able to see exactly the temperature you are using on your hair. And what I like about this particular flat iron is that when you turn it on, you can gauge it. It has like a plus and minus sign. So you can literally bump your temperatures up one by one and see the exact temperature that you're using. A very key and crucial feature if you are going to look for blow dryers, I highly recommend that you look for a blow dryer that has adjustable heat settings just like your flat irons. Blow dryer has an on and off button. It has a, a high stream and low stream, meaning you can have a high airflow or a low airflow. It also has a warm and hot temperature setting along with a cool temperature setting. This is very awesome and it benefits me when it comes to my hair and my clients. Now, you want to make sure that you're very careful with naturally curly hair since our hair tends to be a little more coarse than other hair types and it tends to lose moisture faster. After I am done with the hot shot, the very last step I like to do is I like to go in and put the dryer back on cool. Now, why am I doing this? Once you establish the cool shot after doing the hot shot, you are now giving the hair cuticle a way to lay down. You are now reestablishing those hydrogen bonds that have been broken once you've done all that heat, allowing that cuticle to lie flat. If you do this at the end of your blow dry services, this will help you with humidity. This will definitely help frizzing. It will help your hair from looking like it's just a poofy mess, at least from my experience. I want to make sure that the hair is as smooth as possible before flat ironing because the smoother the hair from the blow dryer, the less you have to do with your flat iron. So I hope this was very beneficial for you guys out there, and I will talk to you guys later. Be electrified.